Well, last night I put a video on Facebook here concerning a lamp that I was making. Um, got home in this afternoon, did a couple things in the house and thought, well, I thought I'd go out and mess with this old dyno for a little bit. I've rebuilt this tractor getting close to three years ago now. Finally got it put back together, maybe two years ago. I, it's hard to remember. But this is a 1947 Farm All M. I've done a lot of running with it up and down the road, but never really had the opportunity to do a break in on the engine as far as putting a real load on it. That's what this uh, dyno from AW does. It measures horsepower, but not only does it measure horsepower, but it puts a load on the engine, allows it to seat the valves in, seat the rings in, and actually as an engine breaks in and it wears in, it will get stronger. Um, I'm gonna try to demonstrate to you all how, how this is set up and how it measures. And uh, we'll fire this old tractor up here in a minute. But what we got here, we've got a unit that actually measures horsepower and it is a hydraulic brake setup. And what it is, as you, as you uh, increase the pressure on the brake, it puts a load on the engine through the PTO shaft. What we call PTO shaft is actually, it's an acronym for power takeoff. So anything that the tractor drives like a hay baler, a hay vine, small combine, a bush hog, is driven off of this shaft right right here. This is what we call the PTO shaft. And that gives us power directly from the engine, uh, comes back through the transmission and into the dyno. The dyno will put a load on the engine and then that'll tell us we know uh, through the specs where this engine needs to be set. Now, this engine needs to be set at full idle speed or full run speed at about 606 RPMs. Now it'll run faster than that, but that's where it's factory rated. And then what I do, I use these little knobs right here. It turns it down and it puts hydraulic fluid or hydraulic pressure on the brake inside. I can fine tune with this, this knob. And as I fine tune, we will see the horsepower register here. Now, if you see this little RPM or tachometer here, that tells you where, where the RPMs is on the PTO. So when we start this up and get it going, this will be at 606 RPMs, and then I'll pull it down to 560, which is where it's rated. And then at 560, I'll look and see where this needle's at, and that will tell me the horsepower. In order to cool this unit, I have a garden hose run in over here on the other side. As you can see, it runs into the dyno, and then there's a, a cloth hose that runs out that uh, allows the water to expel the warm water uh, so that you can keep the dyno cool. It does have a temperature gauge on it. You're not supposed to run it up much more than, a well, 110 to 120 is ideal. Uh, this thing will hold about probably 80, 80 gallon of water. Doesn't take too long to fill it, maybe 50 gallon. But then as it comes up, then you actually get a better reading and your drums and your oil gets warm inside, giving you a more true of a reading. So I'm gonna, I'm not gonna shut this off. I'm just going to fire this old girl up. So if you can bear with me while this thing shakes around here a little bit. <laughs> 